sun setting just over the grandstands in turn number one and the pace car making its way onto pit road the field in the hands of Bobby Gerhardt 18 laps of racing to go green flag back in the air I think you know he's in his window he has the amount of caution laps that he felt like he needed to get to the end we learned a good lesson on that last restart not that he needed to learn many lessons but he didn't break away get way out there like he did last time I think that was smart now they're getting lined up all at the top five right now lined up on the bottom together will there be two different lines one line trying to get by that five of Bobby Gerhardt there's Mark Thompson on the very outside there's Benny Gordon the 09 that red car now he's going to duck back down to the bottom Mark Thompson finished second last year in this race they just pull out to get it done Philly pull out but they realize almost automatically they just hit a wall they can't go anywhere the Kimmel. car just won't go forward and they have to duck back to the bottom Kimmel was in the middle he was following the 32 of Matt Merrill yes, I believe that's Grant Enfinger in the 36 car oh in front in front yeah. of Kimmel correct in front of Kimmel right Matt Merrill remember is up in the fourth position fourth spot Kimmel ducks back down to the bottom of the racetrack too wide back here about 10 and I'm sure right now that's what Gerhardt loves to see. Let them run too wide behind him. Yeah, Bobby Gerhardt's got to be a big sigh of relief. He's got that 17 car behind him, and that car obviously either is going to wait till the last lap to make his move, or he's not going to make a move at all. He now can make it on fuel. Gerhardt can. Oh, oh trouble! trouble. Got a tire down. Looks got like a the tire down. Goes down. Also, the 25 has problems. That's Arpin in the 25 yeah, into the wall. Milka didn't make it that time. And this time we've got more crashing down below. The 23 of Nick Igdalski. Mar Mariev Defoe is the white car coming down the front straightaway. She was involved. The, fifth, the 15 car, Kyle Fowler, our outside pole sitter, is involved. Why did you just have Martin, the 55 car right there? 68 Steve Blackburn. Problems. Betty Chastain, the 75 car right there, the drive to finish hunger car, also involved. Actually, I, I said Milka didn't make it. That 75 car was the one I thought. Uh, was Milka? I'm not sure. Did she make it through? Did we see her somewhere? I, th I think Milka. There's there Milka right is. there. I, yeah, I thought she, she made contact with yeah. Steve Arpin. I thought she was in it, but then I didn't see the car. Yeah. Yep. Steve Arpin. I, I think something happened to the 55 of Hal Martin. There was definitely sparks. Yes. Yeah. And then he started it. wobbling. The 55 Another wobbled. tire looked like Phil to me. Yeah. The, the right rear looked like it must have been going. And we saw Arpin on the inside. Also, then looked like he was correcting because he thought the 55 was going to have problems. Yeah, you just make you, you know it's all instinct. You just kind of think, okay, he's going high, I'm going to go low, or whatever the situation may be. You don't really have time to plan anything. You just kind of instinctively make a move and hope it's the right one. This is Al Martin getting unstrapped. A, a devastating accident for Venturini Motorsports. Watch now, watch the 55, the red car towards the right side. Yeah, a little bit of puff of smoke, smoke right there. Coming out the right rear there. Still see that it's almost there. like he may have a tire, tire rub. Tire rub. Yeah, and I think that's what happened. I think it's going to go down by the time he gets down to turn number three. You see him on the outside of the 44, Frank Kimmel. And Arpin sees this. He's right behind the 55. They get down to turn number three and watch now. There she's starting to go. And yep. there she goes. Looks like a right rear tire. And then Steve Arpin was moving to the inside but to try to give him some more room. But Milka had already committed. Yep. There was nothing, nothing she did wrong. No room. Nick Adalsi in the 23 also involved. There's John Ferrier, the 14. There's another view of it. Coming out of turn. 55 up against the wall. And the Ryan Silas, 11 also involved. You know, like it's taking place. Even down in the grass. Like you mentioned, very difficult for the Venturini yeah. group. There's two of them right here, the 55 and the 25, both cars from the Venturini stable, as well as Kyle Fowler is going to get involved. But you see, Milka was already on the bottom of Steve Arpin, and then Steve was just trying to move down to give Hal Martin some more room. And when he did, Milka was already there. Ty Dillon did a nice job avoiding that on the bottom side. Well, when you have five cars in the field like Venturini did, you got good, good odds of winning. You also got good odds of wadding up five cars. Getting caught up in something like this. Uh, your worst nightmare that more of your cars involved. Here's the second the second incident. Mary Defoe in the 12 trying to avoid gets hit 
right there. And Steve Blackburn Mary goes down the hill. Mary almost had it made, and then the car came down and caught her. She was going by. Riding long with Steve Arvin here. He sees that you car. Can do. They still made it back there. At 50, they're wrecking behind you. Here, wrecking behind you. 55 cut and tire. That's what the smoke was. 25 went with them. We just lost our help here. Yellow is out. Yellow is out. Big mess over there. Big mess. Oh, he, he knows right there. You hear the tower go. When that happens, he knows he's in trouble. And here comes the rest of the gang piling in. I will take a look from the 75 of Benny's Chastain. Here you see him wrecking right at him. He's trying to stop, trying, trying to, to stop, stop trying to slow down. down. He's on the brakes, but you just can't stop when you're going 190 miles an hour. And it looks to be okay right here. And then... They're still running, uh, Come on, you need to stop. There's Benny Chastain right there. He had committed to the bottom, and then just couldn't get stopped. Made contact with Steve Blackburn in the 68 car. There's another view of the right rear tire going down. Then it finally exploded and put him in the outside wall. But by this time, the 25 of Arpin and the 63 of Duno were already together. But that car coming down off the banking and a couple of cars back here, uh, you know, if they could have just, if they had it just stopped, like right there, man, if you just got that thing woed up. You're low. There's Mary back Ab. down, back down, come to the bottom. Nice and slow, slow down. Easy, 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 easy. <laughs> She right, right when she you start, she started to get back in the gas. Thought she had it cleared, and then got smacked in the side. She was doing everything right. She yeah, slowed down. Really she was. knew where she needed to go. Right when she got back in the gas, car came down and came off the off the banking right into her. You know, the first time she went down to the apron, I think she was going too fast, and it actually shot the car back up on the racetrack. She slowed down some more, got back down to the apron. Looked like she was going to be okay. Till they came off the well, spotter did a nice job too. I like the way he was talking her through it, but uh, he didn't have any idea that car was going to come down the hill like that. So the problems start for the 55 of Hal Martin and they continue on for about eight other cars. Caution out once again at Daytona.